You probably realize that planets, distance and proportions are not real, but it's achievable to set up the correct data. As you can see in this Mars example, those values are being fed to the blueprint. So we have distance from the target and it's related with this target actor. And basically the higher the value, the further this, the planet is going to orbit around the target actor. Then we have a starting angle and that is variable that is used to offset the planet radius. So imagine that you have all the planets in the radius of, of zero. Uh, therefore, they would all start at the same position. So to add a bit of variety, uh, this value can be modified to achieve um, more realistic orbiting around the sun. Then we have orbit speed. That is this the speed that the planet uh, is going to be orbiting around the sun. Uh, the higher the value, the, the, the faster it is going to orbit. Then we have a clockwise. If clockwise is selected, then the planet is going to uh, rotate around the sun in the clockwise direction. By default, they rotate uh, anti-clockwise. And as mentioned before, target actor, this is the blueprint uh, that the planet is going to be orbiting around. This doesn't have to be sun, it can be anything you want. So for instance, we, have a situ we can have a situation where for instance, we want to orbit moon around the earth. Therefore, we're going to select the target actor as an earth for a blueprint of moon. And orbit draw finally, as you've seen on the demo, this can be set up individually for each planet. And if it's selected, therefore we're going to draw uh, the orbit that the planet is going to rotate. So for instance, just to show you, orbit draw, that's exactly what we're seeing here. You can also change the own rotation speed. If the value is below zero, it will have an opposite rotation. For instance, you want to do it for Venus. And in this section, I'm going to talk about uh, materials. So by default, when you decided to use this uh, package, uh, you're going to have to uh, set up the sun location. And when you set up the sun location, it's inside the uh, collection and is the planet collections. And you have to choose which blue blueprint is your sun. And the reason why we have to do it is because each material of the planet is going to uh, use this value uh, in order to calculate where is the sun source. So just to show you what I mean, for instance, if the sun is in this direction, we can see that the earth is going to be visible only on one side. So that will be the first thing for you to set up. Now, the second thing, I would like to discuss the parameters. So the first parameter on the list is atmosphere color. Change the color, you will get a different atmosphere. Then we have atmosphere power and strength. Now those two values are sort of related. So you can play with those values, but basically you changing the amount of atmosphere you want to be shown on this on the screen. Then we have a base reflect, the higher the value. Dark side strength, it's the variable that is responsible for small tuning um, for dark falloff. So you can see, you can play with those values to get slightly different contrast between the day and night. And finally, we have the night lights color. We can change those lights to any color we want. Earth material is the most complex. So let's look, for instance, for something simpler. Let's focus on the Mars. So in addition to Mars, we have also a planet dark side illumination. And for instance, if we want to have a dark side to have a small emission of its own, 
we can set this value. Thank you for watching. If you have any questions, leave a comment. Thank you.